Hello, people of the internet. My name is Combat Wombat. Some of you may remember that I made a video on ASMR channels a while back. As weird and sometimes unsettling as ASMR is sometimes, it had a huge following a few years ago. Well, we went from ASMR to mukbangs. For those of you who do not know what a mukbang video is, it's essentially someone sitting down with a ton of really unhealthy food and stuffing their face on camera. That's it. It's not even really a review of the food. Some of them do tell stories during it, but it's really just someone sitting in front of the camera and chowing down. And people watch it. They get hundreds of thousands, sometimes millions of views. It's just like ASMR where you wonder, how in the world could someone find this entertaining? But at least with ASMR, you could argue that it gave you tingles, that it was nice to listen to, that it helped you sleep, or that it was, uh, you know, saucy. For me, it just gave me the creeps most of the time. Uh, no, not you again. Go back over there. <sighs> but with mukbangs, I really don't get why people watch them at all. You're weird. Why not hear from some of my viewers about what they think of mukbangs? Mukbangs are just failed ASMR channels who decided to just eat everything and have fun doing it. Mukbang videos are boring. All they are are people eating in front of a camera and then rambling on about something none of the viewers care about. They're like vlogs, but they give everyone diabetes. To be honest, I think mukbang YouTubers should get sponsorships from high blood pressure medication companies, or maybe insulin companies. It would make a lot of sense. Mukbangers are the YouTube equivalent of that one kid in middle school who takes all the leftover food from the table and turns it into one solid mass before eating it all for clout. And instead of just finishing their plate of food, when their mom said that the children are starving in Africa, mukbangers are the people who saw that as a challenge to flex on those kids by eating more food in one sitting than they'll probably see in a lifetime. Huge thank you to the channel members and Patreon sponsors for not only supporting the channel, but for a few of them lending their voice for this video. I have more videos, like an angry comments video coming up, where people who support the channel can have their voice in it. Stay tuned for that. We're going to be taking a look at two mukbang channels today that give me wet willy nightmares just thinking about them. The first one is Nikocado Avocado, a mukbang channel with almost half a million subscribers. He makes really, really long mukbang videos, some of them up to an hour long. And these thumbnails? I'm getting heart disease just by looking at them, honestly. You can also see that his titles, especially on his more recent videos, are extremely dramatic. My final video. I'm done with YouTube. Goodbye. My life is over, KFC Mukbang. I'm poor. My last meal. I'm done. I ran out of money. Five Guys Mukbang. My favorite part is he has one video titled, I'm not sorry, and the very next video is, I'm sorry. <laughs> That's perfect. He has one video where he has a huge breakdown titled, Orlin left me. I hate myself. Goodbye YouTube and life. Taco Bell mukbang. My baby. <laughs> My baby. <laughs> I, I, I don't deserve to live. I don't, I don't deserve to live. <laughs> I wanna die. <laughs> Jeez, man, what happened to get you into this state? Crying, having a meltdown, then chowing down on some laxatives to cleanse your colon? Watching through a lot of Nikocado Avocado's latest videos can be quite disturbing with him crying and eating a ton of unhealthy food. This can't be good for him health-wise. He even posted a video saying that he doesn't know why he's gaining weight. Uh, Nikocado, it might be the type of videos you're doing, pal. You might want to change the type of content you're making. Seriously. So apparently his husband Orlin left him, that's why he's crying in this video, but Orlin didn't leave him. He's literally in this video here, Why Orlin Hates Me, Colon Cleanser Mukbang. And in Nick Okado's latest video, there he is, macking down on Orlin before macking down on that clotted artery buffet there. So it's pretty clear Orlin didn't leave him. It's pretty much unanimously agreed upon that all of these meltdowns and overdramatic titles are fake. It's all an act to bring attention to himself and have videos made about him. Now, I'm not saying they're fake. I'm just saying 
in this video here, he actually plays a dramatic violin for his breakdown. They're messaging me, you need to stop, you need to ignore all the K-popers. <laughs> about that one, man. Seems a little obvious. Anyways, I'm not here for the drama. I'm here for some mukbanging. Generally, the way that Nikocado Avocado does his videos is he buys a boatload of really greasy, unhealthy food, usually from fast food places, and sits down and eats it and tells a story or talks about random things. All these videos are is watching a man stuff his face. That's it. <laughs> Isn't that just quality content? And just slap my titties with aluminum foil. He's one of those people that moans when they eat. I feel like I'm floating, 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 floating. <laughs> if you do this yourself, you need to eat an entire bag of fossilized zebra doo-doo. He eats with his mouth open. <laughs> if you do that, I'm blocking you on Facebook. And honestly, by the footage I'm playing in the background, does any of this seem like something you'd watch? Because, to be honest, I totally would. I get off to this stuff. But you didn't expect that. I'd rather count the blades of grass in my backyard while an entire colony of fire ants bite my scrot than watch someone eat messy food, moan, and fake cry. <laughs> And have crazy meltdowns like this that are probably fake. Bye. <laughs> He's like Onision, if Onision was into gluttony. Also, I know this isn't really related to the mukbangs, but I feel like it's worth pointing out that he made a video titled I Bought a $2.8 Million Hawaii Apartment, House Tour 2020, where he walks around a hotel in Hawaii and claims it's his house. Let me give you a house tour, official house tour 2020. There's even a room service number and a phone. This is my desk. This is where I'm going to start editing videos. Um, I do have a front desk concierge. Nice. Oh my god, I am living the life. Thank you, haters! Back to the mukbanging. I failed to see the entertainment in watching someone eat a ton of unhealthy food. Just go get McDonald's yourself, you lazy bum. I can see why you might want to watch someone like Review Bra. This is Running On Empty. Food review. One, because he's a Chad. I don't let my girlfriend watch his videos because she might leave me for him. And two, he reviews a food product when it comes out. It's a food review. And he doesn't shove the food in his mouth with sauce all over his face and gross out the viewers. He nibbles it like a gentleman. Nico Kato makes very boring and downright disturbing videos. They're also way too long for what they are. Why would anyone watch an hour of someone eating? If I wanted to do that, I could just go to my local CC's Pizza and stare at random couples eating the entire time. I guess if I don't want a restraining order or a jail sentence, then Nico Kato's videos are a good substitute. But honestly, Nico Kato is just a small fry compared to the main event, the most disgusting mukbang YouTuber I've ever seen. And to be fair, I haven't seen a lot of them because I don't like mukbang videos. This next channel is AIDS personified. When I think of it at night, I bequeath myself with fear. Oh yeah, it's that bad. S So Young. Huh? S So Young is basically Nick O'Connor's channel, but the cringe dial is turned up to 20. 
Let's go over the list of reasons why I think S So Young is the worst mukbang channel out of the two channels I've really taken a look at. And honestly, these things can be applied to all mukbang channels. Number one, the food these channels choose to eat which is usually really greasy, unhealthy food. Sure, S. So Young's food is way healthier than most mukbang channels, but what's worse, for the viewer, is she eats a lot of messy, juicy, and crunchy seafood, some of which she captures and kills herself. Here she is, catching an eel for some mukbanging action. And, uh, it's... It's pretty quirky. Here she is, chopping the heads off of small squids. Then she pours soy sauce or whatever onto them while they squirm around, which is super appetizing. Then she eats them raw, and as you can imagine... <laughs> that brings me on to point number two, which is that it's not appealing to watch. Okay, I think I made my point about how disgusting it is. You get it. Lastly, and most importantly, there is no entertainment value here. Unlike Nico Kato, S. So Young barely speaks, and when she does, you have to understand Korean to know what she's saying, or turn on English captions. Since I can't read, that really sucks for me. Even with captions on, she barely talks. It's mostly her eating for 10 plus minutes. And with Nikado Avocado, his got up to an hour long. They're just boring. People actually watch this stuff, and I'm genuinely puzzled as to why. It's a mystery to me. I mean, if you enjoy mukbangs, let me know down in the comments what about it entertains you. Me, I just get noxious while watching it. And honestly, that's about all I have to say about these channels, because there isn't a whole lot to their videos. I mean, that's all I've got. I've said my piece. Nonetheless, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching and have a good one. Hey, don't go, you just got here. Check out another one of my videos, please. I'll love you long time.